All right, welcome to Bad Idea Metals. I had a guest with me a second ago who uh, I'm not so sure he wanted to be on the, uh, the channel. So I'll do my introduction here and I'll show you what you missed and, and then we're gonna rotate this. Okay, so here's what, here's what you missed, me trying to get it all hooked up. But uh, we ran into a few glitches. Um, this, uh, what this is, is it's a copper collar um, for different different telescopic space vehicles and such but this is gold plated and evidence of that you can see here with the um, with the reverse electroplating having success and and taking some of these uh, some of this plating off so we're gonna spin this So you can see those bubbles. Those bubbles are the reverse plating happening. And what we've got here, this, this collar should be um, copper with, uh, with some gold plate on it. However, that doesn't look very much like copper. It looks more like steel or nickel. I'm not positive, but the reverse Electroplating is happening. Um, these batteries, uh, I mean these lead wafers, came from a, a, a lead acid battery. So these are, are lead, lead panels out of the cells of a battery. Man, that is fun. It's just coming right off there. I switched sides for you. It was starting to get a little bit of a glare. But you can see that that is definitely reacting. Well, it's coming off dark. That's good. That's the, the gold. Whatever else is going to come off with this, this reverse plating. Um, with it being sulfuric acid with the lead, uh, the lead plate there. This should effectively take off all the gold. You can kind of see there's a color change between this metal here and that gold plate. So let's go ahead and spin this again. Try to get as much of this uh, electro plating to successfully come off. So you can see that this liquid is getting darker, which is exactly what we want it to do. That means that the gold is coming off into solution and it's staying here. Um, the metal is seeming to adhere it back on though. I'm trying to get it to stay off. I may have to run this ring around in here a few times, but I don't know. This is my first attempt at reverse plating and it's kind of fun. It's working. I'm not surprised, I expected it to work, but uh, not having ever done this before, it's, um, it's interesting. Okay, my phone's already died a few times. Uh, it's really hot out here, it's midsummer, so take a look. There's our reverse electroplating in action. Um, that's, <clears throat> that's definitely not copper as a lower layer. Um, but it's still doing it and the liquid's really dark. I don't know how long I can talk before I get cut off by the temperature warning on my phone again, but we're about halfway done. It's taken about a half hour. So not super fast with the, with the steps that I'm using. Um, but who knows? Okay. We'll check back in at the end, uh, after this is entirely reverse plated or deplated, I guess. And, uh, yeah. It's pretty exciting. All right. Well, the project stalled pretty bad. Um, I let the alligator clips fall in, so I bent down the lead so that won't happen anymore. But when the alligator clips fell in, it ate up the wire inside the clip. And so then the process stopped. Well, obviously there's no electricity flowing anymore, but since fixing the alligator clip, this is working a lot better. Um, the wind is picking up around here and we're about to get a little bit of a storm. So 
I need to wrap this up. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to uh, let this finish deplating here and I'm going to store them in uh, glass jars. Like this one. So I've got two of these jars. I'm going to let them try to settle out a little bit. Uh, I don't expect it to uh, settle tons, but gold is more dense than, than water. Now this is sulfuric, so I don't, I don't know what that's going to do, but I'm hoping it'll settle down and then it'll be easier to pour off the excess sulfuric. But uh, here, let's go back to the reaction. Okay, so we'll get this one down into that other bottle here when we're done with this last quarter of the ring. The rest of it is pretty much done. But we'll get this, uh, we'll get this here. We'll get this finished up here and uh, I'm, I'm not too optimistic that there's a whole lot of gold on these. Here's why. Um, one, there's copper on the side here, but there was no evidence of copper on the ring itself. So what that tells me is that there's copper mixed with this, uh, with this plating. And, uh, well, so be it. We're going to have a really dirty gold electrode. Uh, reverse electro plate here. Um, I am not even expecting half a gram. I wouldn't even be surprised if we have less than a quarter gram, which is going to be unmeasurable with the tools that I've got. But uh, we're going to go through the process and see what we end up with, um, just because I've never done this before. So this is all done. We've got it all off. However, there's there's some really messy spots in here. Um, it's still hooked up. There's no bubbles coming off the ring. The lead is still bubbling like crazy, but I have a feeling that it's gonna bubble no matter what I do. There's a little bit of copper stain right there. I don't, I've run it through and I don't think that there's any gold left on that. And there's another copper stain right up there. So in general, I'm gonna unplug it and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna collect all this liquid and try to reduce it down. Um, the storm's coming. I don't wanna do this indoors, so I may have to pick this up another day. Um, we'll, we'll pick this up probably tomorrow or the day after. But there you go, there's the actual reverse electroplating uh, in action. And that didn't take very long. That last quarter took me like five minutes. The, now that I've got the clips out of the liquid. Um, I, I can't imagine exactly what happened but those clips were more fragile and susceptible to the, to the process than I would have expected. And uh, the process completely stopped um, once the clips got wet. So um, this isn't a demonstration. Um, if anybody is following along, this is highly corrosive sulfuric. It's dangerous, wear eye, eye protection for sure. Um, hand protection is good. Um, and, and don't wear clothes that you, that you don't mind having holes in because the sulfuric will eat through your clothes. Um, I'll pick this up here pretty soon and we'll, we'll get the gold out of the sulfuric, uh, which is, I don't think it's gonna be very much at all. Okay, we'll catch you on the next, on the next piece. All right, well, that storm passed. I've got both, both of my uh, containers here sitting. We're gonna let things settle down, settle out. Uh, if it doesn't settle fast enough, well, that's all right. I don't want to dilute my acid as there's still a lot of acid um, potential in, in both of these containers. So uh, if I don't, uh, so here's my thought. I have all sorts of pins to process. In fact, some of them are right here in front of me. We got pins on some of these things. Um, these are just random IC, IC chips. We got CPUs. We got different things here, but um, Now that I got this uh, this reverse electroplating working um, I I don't know how much gold's gonna be in there. I can't imagine it's gonna be very very much um, after watching other people's results um, using a lot more material than I was using uh, as, a, as a source and getting so little on a return, I'm actually afraid of wasting all of that acid for no reason. So 
you know, I think I'm going to call the video here and uh, just keep an eye out for videos in the future where I do more uh, electro reverse electroplating. Um, I'm going to continue to use this electrolyte um, to keep that acid potent uh, or effective longer. Um, I'll get on this sooner than later. I'll, I'll do another electro plating or reverse electroplating video uh, to continue this one. Just not today. Um, I've got I've got a lot of pins. I've got a lot of other things to do. Um, so we'll do more with this. I just don't find. I just don't think it's going to be effective if I waste all of that acid now by diluting it and filtering it to uh, to reclaim a fraction of a fraction of a percent of gold. It's just not going to be worth very much to me. I am very curious, but um, yeah, I, I, I don't want to waste this acid. We'll see. I'll, I'll wait to publish this for a day or two if that settles down. And, and gives me a nice cloud at the bottom of each of these containers, then maybe I'll siphon off the top and we'll see. But, but this might be my sign off. So we'll, we'll give this a shot. Thanks for watching. Sorry about the delay in videos. Um, June was really crazy for me. I got a lot of personal projects done, nothing to do with the channel, but I'm back uh, recording, which is good. And uh, yeah, okay. Here's to making some gold out of all this. I'll see you in the next video.